We're here with first year NSU head soccer coach, Jess Joe. Coach, uh, this team made the conference tournament. You go play Central Arkansas on the Wednesday at 11 a.m. in the first round of the Southern Conference Tournament. Um, let's talk about the, the run this team was able to make late in the season uh, to secure a conference tournament spot. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we put ourselves in a, in a tough spot, you know, having lost some tough games early in the season and having to crawl out of that a little bit. Um, and I think that's testament to you know, how, how much this team wanted to be in the position we're in right now is to, to stay focused, uh, stay after it, continue to grind week after week after week, attack some specific things in training that we had to improve upon and had to get better in and, um, and then come up with some results uh, when, it, when it really mattered. I mean, down the stretch, we were uh, getting into games that started to be must wins. If we, if we don't come away with three points, um, you know, our, our season's going to start fading away and um, you know, we're able to able to uh, prevent that and uh, keep ourselves in a race and then uh, continue to push on and um, get, get some key results at, at a good time. So I think, you know, hopefully that's something uh, that we, we, we build on. We go back to kind of what, what made us successful at that stretch of the season. What sort of things were we doing? You know, what was our mentality like when we, when we had to have it? Because uh, here we are again and uh, must win games. It's win or, go, win or go home at this point of the season for us. And um, I think we saw ourselves respond really well to moments like that. Uh, in the regular season, and uh, hopefully we can bring that back out uh, on Wednesday. Uh, you know, making the Southern Commerce Tournament w was one of your preseason goals, but obviously you don't want to just make it. You want to make a run, have a chance to, to compete for a championship in, in an NCAA spot. Uh, what's it going to take, uh, just a, a thing or two that this team's going to have to do to, to make that possible Wednesday? Um, yeah, be a little more organized as a team. Uh, I think um, you get back to that mentality we just talked about. Uh, just kind of, you know, I think we're okay being the underdog. We're okay being the number eight seed and, and playing the number one seed and um, approaching the game that way. I think that's a, a, a space that we're comfortable with, you know, kind of having exceeded some expectations already and then um, kind of looking in the face of, of some big challenges like that. I think that's a place where, you know, we've shown we're, we're comfortable uh, and we're okay with that um, and that. Uh, we, we have a little bit, it's okay to have a little bit of a chip on our shoulder of like we have more to prove. And um, you know, I think that's where the focus is, is that we feel like we have more to prove. Uh, last time out uh, versus UCA, we feel like, um, you know, we didn't, we didn't present as, as good of a challenge uh, to UCA as we could have. And I think we're a much better team than what we showed. So it gives us an opportunity to refocus uh, with some things that are very f fresh on our mind still coming off of last Friday night, um, being able to kind of take a step back find some solutions for some problems that we had and um, refocus, come up with a game plan and uh, see if we can go out and execute. So uh, we're excited for the opportunity. Then taking a step back just from Wednesday, it's yours and Anna's first year in this program. Uh, one of the goals obviously was to establish a culture. What, what can making this conference tournament and having that postseason experience do going forward? Um, yeah, I think it's huge. It's a great experience uh, for the players you know, behind me um, to get that opportunity to, to feel what these postseason games are like. You know, we uh, don't take postseason for granted, uh, you know, any any level of wherever you are and um, something I think they did a good job of. And then hopefully we just make the most of the opportunity and, um, you know, feel what it's like to play this time of the year. Um, and that, that makes us really hungry moving into the spring uh, to take the experience we're going to get this next week and, and build on it. Um, and not only that, just uh, you know, we, we've got players coming in that are hungry, who, who want to be at the conference tournament, and um, you know, knowing we've got a team who is going to be a little more adept at, at leading them there, um, and having the experience this year of of getting through some some tough times and some tough losses and, and overcoming uh, some obstacles to get there. So, yeah, I think it absolutely it, it, it's it's a tremendous achievement for this group, and they've worked really really hard, and uh, they deserve to be there. Um, and you know, we're uh, we're we're excited to to get after it and continue to have games to play you know something that um, you know we've we've watched this week a lot of seasons come to an end um, and in NCAA play as the regular season and conference plays wrapped up across the country so you know, we're just tremendously lucky and fortunate to be in the position we are to have another game on the schedule and we're gonna make the most of it we're, we're, we're just we're excited to be there and and get after it yes thank you very much thank you thank you sir yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No problem. You got everybody.